Hi there YouTubers, as usual it's been a while since I've made a video uh, because I haven't had anything really much uh, to talk about but now I have. This is an idea I got uh, off YouTube itself um, pretty much making silver bars however with a twist what I've got here is uh, some natural silver nuggets that I've um, managed to pick up over the years and I have um, quite a lot of them actually A box of them there, all different sizes, different weights. These are natural nuggets. But what I've done is, um, I saw this idea on YouTube. There's quite a few guys that have actually uploaded videos regarding making silver bars and gold bars. So I thought I'd, um, I thought I'd have a crack at it. So what I've done is I've uh, ordered all the crucibles and all the little bits and pieces that I needed to uh, to actually make them. And um, I found it to be quite easy. The only uh, problem that I had was I tried to use the propane gas. And I've had to actually go with the uh, map gas that's here. I'll just turn that around so you can see it. I've had to go with the, um, the map gas because it's actually, uh, it burns a lot hotter for what I needed. Now it was, um, it was a trial and error type thing because these are pretty much natural nuggets. So they've got a fair bit of impurity in them. And what I've had to do is pretty much put these into a vise in my workshop and just cut off what I needed to make the bars to fit into the moulds. And this mould I actually got on YouTube, I poured these bars today, which I'll actually tip out. But this here is just a graphite mould that I, uh, I bought on eBay. I had this delivered from the US. I live in Australia, of course. And... The crucible, I've got various sizes. This came with a handle, the whole bit. Um, this was quite good actually, it was a very cheap price. So I managed to get about three different sizes, and I've got about 10 of these all up for a great price. Once again, um, all on eBay. And even the borax came with it, which is what you need to add as you're actually melting the broken off or the cut off pieces from these nuggets. And as you can see, there's a lot of impurity in there. I hope you can focus on that. These are actually um, not too bad looking nuggets. I'm sure I'll probably get a few comments from people that say, oh, why are, you, um, why are you melting these nuggets down? Well, I guess I'm lucky enough that I have, um, I have quite a bit of it. So for, for my little um, experiment, it, was, um, it was, wasn't a problem for me. So before I get any comments like that, it wasn't a problem. Okay, as you can see, I poured these today. And you can sort of, you can see a, quite a bit of impurity sitting on the top. And I've gone in a two-stage process, three-stage, sorry. These ones here, I've started to sand them down, clean them all up. And what I end up with is beautiful silver bars. Just like you'd get from any bullion dealer I guess. Now this actually is a five ounce mold but I have found it quite difficult to actually get bars to be spot on to five ounces. They've always been slightly less or slightly over. Um, I've managed to get around about 80 ounces so far in the bars and I'm working towards um, getting 100 ounces all up and what I'll do I'll just uh, I'll turn this on just to show you. And this one here has actually come in at 4.8 ounces. Lovely bar. So yeah, all I've done, I'll just grab another one next to it. You can see the poured bar that I did today and uh, I'll turn it around and then you see the finished product and that was quite simple to do all I've done is uh, I've got various grades of sandpaper not too not too um, not too coarse because it does scratch the silver quite easily but just enough to take the impurities out of uh, all the little impurities on the top they pretty much just go hard like glass and um, it's been a bit of a learning curve 
but I've, I've really enjoyed doing it. You can actually see the waves of the, um, as the silver's, and the silver actually, when you pour it into the, uh, into the mould, it, um, it hardens very, very quickly. As soon as it's in the mould, it's pretty, it's pretty much set straight away. Obviously red hot, so you've got to be quite careful. And um, in case I get any silly comments, no, I don't do that inside. I don't do any of this inside because this crucible here itself gets red hot. Absolutely glowing hot. But with the map gas, it's a very quick process. I've had to do it in two stages because all the impurities in the, um, in the nuggets themselves, they actually turn to glass. And you can see that in the bottom. And that's why you need this borax here which I just put like a half a teaspoon in and that'll grab all the impurities. It's an amazing thing. It grabs all the impurities and just sticks it to one side. And I have got a carbon rod, which is just like, um, just like your, your, the lead out of a pencil, which is a very thick rod. And when you stir it around with that, all the impurities get stuck to the rod. So like I said, it's taken me um, a, a few goes to get it right, but now I've got, it, um, I've got it down pat and I'm quite happy with the way it's turned out. And as you can see, I'll turn these over. This was a couple of hours work this afternoon and I'm very quickly getting towards my magic 100 ounces. Now people might say, well, what are you going to do with it then? Um, I've actually been in touch with the Perth Mint and they have an assay process. And if I wish, I can pay the $150 fee. And they have got one called a fire assay where they would actually melt that bar down and re-pour it and they'll tell me exactly what it is. But there's another process uh, that they use and the name actually escapes me at the moment. I'm pretty sure it's something like mass spectrometry where I would need to drill a hole through this and those drill fines, I actually put it in an envelope and I take them out to their refinery and they'll put it in a machine and they'll tell me exactly the purity of these bars. Now looking at these nuggets, um, they look very pure to me. Oh, there's one little thing I made. Oop, I was just playing around. Just a little piece bar. Turn that around. Which I've made for... Uh, Good mate of mine, how you going there Irish? Uh, one of these is on the way to you mate. And this one actually is quite nice, it weighs in it. Uh, well let's have a look, I'll turn that back on. We'll see how much um, how much it comes in at. One point two ounces. That's not too bad. So there you go guys. Been a while since I've made one, but um, some of you guys might find this quite interesting. And yes, um, some of these are actually too heavy for my little digital scale there. So there's a fair bit of weight on that one there. And um, I've got an abundance of them, all different types. Some of them are very dirty looking. Why am I doing this? Well, it was something to do as far as um, trying to make some of these look a little bit better. There may be, um, there's probably some silver purists out there that think I'm doing the wrong thing. But, um, oh well, there you go. Each to their own, I guess, guys. Right, I'll uh, finish this off before it gets too long. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. Look forward to any comments. And uh, I'll be uploading another video soon with my next purchase. As you know, the silver price has um, been falling like a stone lately. I hope people aren't getting too worried about that. Hold on to your hats because we're in for a ride. I'm not going to get too much into the fundamentals, but um, I've been stacking for a long time and I will continue to do so. As we know, um, it is a cycle, so we've got to watch the market quite, quite, um, quite carefully. But um, I follow Mike Maloney and I uh, agree with a lot of the stuff he has to say. He's done a lot more research than I have. And um, yes, I won't be going anywhere as far as uh, stacking goes. I'll just still keep uh, accumulating as I can and as I can afford it. Okay, guys. Hope you like that. Cheers.